Children's Health Fund launched its first mobile clinics for kids in underserved city communities 35 years ago. Today, they are in 15 states, providing care for more than 100,000 children a year. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell shows us how a major do donation will help even more young people thrive. Big blue buses bring the doctor's office to the neighborhood. Children's Health Fund targets young people living in shelters and in poverty. President and CEO Dr. Arturo Brito says now their mission means more than ever. Things were already stacked up against uh, these children and their families. Um, too many barriers. But now with the pandemic, it's gotten even worse. The nonprofit's clinics offer everything from immunizations to mental and dental care in a one-stop shop. Here, providers are partners from Columbia Public Health, Children's Hospital at Montefiore, and the city's Healthy and Ready to Learn program. The way we do it is, is not ideal. It is what is necessary for every child. Frito brought me to the mobile clinic stop in Harlem, not far from the Ali Fournay Center for LGBTQ plus youth, an especially marginalized group when it comes to health care access. It's intimidating to any of us, particularly the, the patients and families that we see who, you know, are in under-resourced communities who are often discriminated against. And so here it makes it a lot easier to right away develop that relationship and it makes it a lot easier to be a provider for families when you have that trust. When Brito served as CHF's South Florida Project Director in the 90s, he connected with communities on a personal level. I myself came to this country as an immigrant when I was seven years old with my family, and I understand what it's like to not have access to health care. The pediatrician Brito's family found inspired his own community-driven career. Now Children's Health Fund can drive health home even more with a recent $1.5 million donation from the largest ever Red Nose Day. We could do so much more because there's such a need around the country and in New York City. The funds will increase staffing and services for those who need it most, bringing CHF closer to its goal of serving an additional 50,000 kids each year. You can find the clinic here at the corner of 126 and Adam Clayton Powell once a month. To find the full schedule, head to our story on CBSNewYork.com. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS2 News.